A tennis corner? <laughs> Hemlock Village. Teeny tiny little place. Sure is. They got a Liberty. Probably with a bad 3.7 in it. That's why it's sitting there. Hang on, we gotta turn this around. Okay, where did we go? Somebody talk. Preacher Smokehouse. Smoke Preacher Smokehouse, which was not Dunigan's. Yes. Wait, Dugans. Dugans. Dugler. Was Dugans. it Dugler's? Dugans. I thought I said Dugan's, and then the place ended up being Duncan's. Dunk yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And then there's Dugler's too. And then there's Dugler's. Was there a Dugler's? Is that an actual thing? I thought that was just McDaniel's. <laughs> this is an artisan wood. I kind of want to go with Man, Artesian. We got to look at some wood. Do you want to turn around? Yeah, I want to touch the wood. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around. Hip and steel. Paint smokies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool though, look at that. Bird. He's painting it. I pick a place to turn around and y'all are in love with the garden. That is name. some bomb ass art That's in the cool. windows. Look at the paint on that Jeep. He can't paint his Jeep, but he can paint the motherfucking mountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he painted an exercise bike. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. It's easier than exercising. You just paint the bike. <laughs> this car is so mad at us right now. Oh, it's a Camry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's a Camry. The only thing I'm worried about is all them beans in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, which place? Um, right I mean, we there. can park yeah. on the other side. I don't guess it matters. Yeah, I guess we can walk. Um, the Hurry. right side looks less populated. This is so cute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. What is this? Punk, if that, if that like board looks punk. like a penis. <laughs> it's YouTube video. Yep. Man. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Great way to start off vlog number two. <laughs> Them ribs messed me up. Yeah, we're sluggish now after eating ribs and beans. <laughs> Will got like a $35 sampler platter. It came with one of everything in the freaking restaurant. And a gallon of baked beans. And a but, gallon of baked beans. Yeah, but it was a teeny tiny little hole in the wall place called the Preacher's Smokehouse, and it was absolutely wonderful. Are right, we going in across the street or this place? <laughs> All right. up do you want to save 16 minutes yes, please. all we had to pay was 39.99 for it to tell us a better way do you know the way there's an international pickup truck and a chevrolet pickup truck and a bunch of plow trucks so i don't know if you saw the two clips that we took inside the store one of them was a woodworking store what did you buy will you bought corks or something what did i buy oh yeah yeah i bought uh bottle stoppers for wine they're really nice handmade handmade bottle stoppers for wine and then we went to this uh, knife store, and you bought a necklace or something. I right? bought a necklace that the man's girlfriend made. Nice, nice. Supporting local small businesses, sort I love of. Love cool shit like that, though, you know. Oh yeah. I didn't buy anything because I'm poor. <laughs> it is really pretty. Now we are headed to, uh, we're going into Gatlinburg first, right? Yeah, this place is in Gatlinburg on the main strip. Yeah. So I figure once we get done at the tobacconist, we're kind of already where we wanted to be. We can just find a place to park. And... Okay. Oh, look, a quarry of some kind. Or maybe they're just getting ready to build something. I don't know. 
I really want to get one of the new GoPros with the dash cam mount on it so I can like put it like right here and then I can just ramble while the camera films instead of having to like figure out where to put it. There's a big horse. 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 There's a wood carving place. They got bears. Bears. But are they in big blue houses? I don't know if that's a reference to. Oh, okay, never mind. I was waiting for you to say something else. Have you ever seen Bear in the Big Blue House? Yeah, Bear in the Big Blue House. Hold on, let me turn this camera around. You've never seen Bear in the Big Blue House? No. The, Is it a children's show? It was. With the big bear. Yeah. And the blue house. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh the, the bear and the, and the big blue house. To, the, the one that used to like sing and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the oh, moon would yeah, sing yeah, to them yeah. every night. Yeah, they sang yeah. about the moon. I don't even remember what the moon song was now. I can't think of. Yeah, yeah. no, I remember. That. I had them all on VHS time. tape. I would watch them every night. What is it? I'm trying to think of the song right now. I can't I'm think not, of I'm it. I know the one. song. Hold on, I'm. Stay I'm with. With. Yeah, my friend. Yeah, hold the on. Wood Whittlers. That's kind of cool. The Wood Blues yeah. house. I just and pottery know. classes. Is this window open? Is my door ajar? Oh, it's the Your window was not closed. <laughs> That's. I did not have the door ajar like. Beer, wine, and liquor superstore. Next time we come down here, we need to go on a Tuesday oh, and be here for like four or five days because it's weekend shit ain't working <laughs> come down on monday monday night. Yeah, for, for like monday to friday where yeah. no one's here while well, everybody's at work and not on the road you fucking for real we we made the mistake we came down on a friday to stay a weekend uh on what is this veterans veterans day weekend and it and saturday is the first day of the christmas lights in pigeon Forge. that's the first day of all the Christmassy stuff. So, everybody and their grandma is in Pigeon Forge right now. Not that there's anything wrong with visiting Pigeon Forge, but we also decided show to visit the, Pigeon Forge. The yeah, more time. important than you, don't come here. <laughs> show them the he has GPS, spoken. but it's not, so it's 25 minutes. Oh, yeah, miles. hold on. Two and a half miles, 23 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to go two and, a, two and a half miles. Yeah, I should have seen it yesterday when it was... What did it say when we were going through Pigeon Forge? Oh, it was, God, it was like what? three miles or like 48 minutes or some shit like that. Yeah, to get to a restaurant. A restaurant that wouldn't even seat us. For two hours. Because they closed at like 10, and at 8.30, they were like, yeah, there's a two-hour wait. And we're like, that's that's not possible. You guys would be closed by then. They're like, yeah, we know. You're going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. Yeah, so we did. And then we ended up finding Tex. This, oh, Fort, it was Worth. like Fort Worth Smokehouse. Or something? Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. Smoke. Yeah. Bar Texas something. Yeah, it was good. Fort Worth barbecue, Fort Worth something or another in Pigeon Forge, and we literally walked in, and they're like, "Yeah, what's your phone number?" And I gave them my number, and they're like, "All right, we'll page you when it's ready." So we walked out the front door to go sit in the car, and my phone rings, and I look down, and it's like, your table is ready, see your hostess, and so I turned around and walked right back in, and they're like, yeah, your table is ready, and I'm like, it has been 28 seconds, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, fine by me, guys, so that's that's how we got food. We gotta tell them about Cody's little experience in the buffet. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm So, damn you, Highlander. Go. So, we went through Gatlinburg. It sucked. That was horrible. $20 to park. And then we walked around and bought nothing because everything is ridiculous and everything is packed. Very stupid. So very stupid. So very crowded. It is not worth it. Not today. So, now we're on three, whatever this is. Three headed something. Three something. Headed back to Pigeon Forge try to hit up that other boot place and then find food because apparently these people think their boots are made of gold <laughs> made of gold and will's putting his glasses back together yeah i broke my glasses and i'm doing it with pocket because we don't have a screwdriver Correct. in the car all right we'll see you in gatlinburg and pigeon forge
Oops. A tunnel. How many people are gonna hit their horns? There's a guy on the side of the road with an Acadia, so it's probably all the Acadia's fault, and a goose. Damn goose. Damn goose. Let's see. They're <coughs> they're just standing outside of their Acadia. Who's just showing this kid the... Look, kids, this is how you make a traffic jam. <laughs> so you see, if you pull over, Everybody will look at you and they'll all slow down and it'll cause a series of chain reactions for the next three freaking miles. Isn't that neat, kid? You just ruined everybody's blood pressure before dinner. And they're just sitting there. Hooray. Fun fact, still haven't put gas in a Camry. <laughs> Okay, so we just came out of the boot store, which is behind us. There's this little place, well, there's two of them in Pigeon Forge. One in the south end of Pigeon Forge, one in the north end of Pigeon Forge. And they do a promotion where you buy one pair of cowboy boots, you get two more for free. So you end up with three pairs of boots for the price of one. Now, of course, you pay for the most expensive pair that you pick out, and then you get the other two for free. So I got another pair. I've got a new pair of snake skin, and then I got a pair of lizard. And uh, then Cody used the third free one and got him a pair of square toe. He's never had square toe. I don't wear square toe boots. Um, it's not a style that I like on me. I like more of like a traditional cowboy style boot. And uh, people, a lot of people still kind of make fun of them because they're, they're pointed on the toe. But if you get a wide one in, uh, in like a size that you can actually fit, they're very comfortable. It does not cramp your toes. I feel like a lot of people that have problems with the pointed toe boots buy them too small. They buy like their regular sneaker size and you need to go up a size for pointed toe boots. So I've always worn pointed toe boots. My feet are fine. And I got I got two more pair. Cody got a pair. And Will and Faith are in the boot store right now getting them two more pairs or another pair. They both got one pair each and then they were trying to figure out who was going to get the third. And I think Will won that argument. So... But I'm already in the car. It is cold and the wind is starting to blow. So I've got the heat on because Will doesn't like the heat. He'll suffocate, you know, because he's a grizzly bear. So I've got the heat on until he comes back out here and then I have to cut it off. And when we get back to the cabin tonight, I will show you the boots that we all picked out. So there's your update. I think we're going to go up into the, like the city of Pigeon Forge and either figure out food or maybe hit a couple more shops. Will wants to go to a distillery that's up here. So we'll probably end up rolling into that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the updates I can give you for this moment. So stay tuned. He literally started over at 11 minutes. 11 minutes we sat on hold. 11 freaking minutes. It was playing the world's worst song and I was going to get it on recording. So we sent Cody in there. Cody, what did they say? Roughly an hour and a half. Oh my God, they must be good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Do we do an hour and a half wait or? No. No. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get a vlog of that. Look at that. Look at that steak. You gotta take a picture of my uh, avocado. Of the avocado. <laughs> Perfectly ripened. No comments? I'm very confused about this whole place. I got beans. <laughs> <laughs> For like this third time? Fourth? This third. Is the fourth? 
It's the third. It's the too many, is yeah. what it is. There's been a plethora of beans being ate, and there are still beans in the trunk of the car. <laughs> I got more beans at the house. Do you really? <laughs> Ooh, that's that's good. What was the name of this place again? Feasters on T Street. <laughs> Which, like the inside does not match the main, and then the food doesn't match anything else, and I'm very confused. And what? I, like, I think it's great. No, the food's not bad. It's still on the tree. It's great music. Okay. You ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Let me use the bathroom, is it? There. That's too late. What's going on, boys and girls of the internet? Here's your final part to this video. Uh, we made it back from dinner. We ate it. Whatever the name of that place was. What was it called? Uh... Treasers on <laughs> Feasters on Teasters. There you go. Feasters on Teasters. It was really good. The service was exceptional. I think our waiter's name was Nate. I thought it was Randall. No, Randall was Randall. the good guy. Randall was the good guy. I thought it was Nate. I don't know, mustache man. Okay. Sounds right. You got your receipt? It's on there. Nah, I got it. So anyway, we got we just got back. A little fire. It's going beautiful. Wine. And these are the boots that we got from the boot store, which I don't think I filmed anything inside the boot store. No. So I got two pair. I got a lizard and a snake. And then those are the ones Will picked out. And then these two are fates. Mine and Will's are goat skin. Both of these are goat skin? Uh, mine, With the, mine, the brown ones, are, mine and Will's are both goat skin. And then the black ones are python. Okay, so those two are goat skin, right? Yes. And then that's python black. Yeah. And mine was the whatever color python, right? Caramel color. Caramel. I don't think it says. No, it just says python. So there's that. And then Cody got square toes in blue. There's square toe. I don't I I can't do square toe. Doesn't work for me. But he likes square toe and they look good and they're blue. And blue is his favorite color. So it all worked out today. It's Cody's birthday. Happy birthday! So we went and had dinner, went shopping. Oh, there's a mirror. I can see myself. I had an avocado at dinner. And he had an avocado at dinner. <laughs> Look at that fire going behind me. Check that thing out. That is so pretty. Mm. I want one of those inserts for our house so that I can use our we fireplace. With y'all weak lungs. <coughs> but yeah, there's our boot array that we have accumulated today. So this store up here in Pigeon Forge, they've done it for years. That's why I went back, but it's buy one pair and get two pair for free. So you pay for the most expensive pair and then you get two. So my um, pa uh, Python ones were X amount of dollars. They were the most expensive. And then I got that pair and Cody's pair for free. And then Will bought yours, right? Yours were the most expensive. Yeah, they're my, yeah the, the black ones were the most expensive ones. You, yeah, and then y'all got two more for free. Which the black ones, I like them the best. I like that white stitching. That. And see, this is a smooth stitch, which I like. But the ones I'm wearing are Dan Post. And they have a raised stitched. And then I had caps put on them. And uh, like a brushed bronze uh, heel and toe caps. Because that's how I roll. Let's go check on Will. Will, we're finishing up today's vlog. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to contribute to the video for today? Cigar I think the best thing about a cigar, <laughs> it's like a pause button for life. It is a moment of meditation that every man needs in his life that I don't think he can necessarily find in another human being. A fine well, cigar can provide. That was very well said. That was good, Doc. I like that. He likes the cigars more than me. Yeah. He is sitting out here just checking out the view. Now you can just see the twinkling of the lights off in the distance. This hot tub's supposed to be turned off somehow, but I can't figure out how in the world to make this thing turn off. So it's just kicking itself on and off. So yeah, tomorrow <clears throat> we're gonna get some stuff cleaned up and I'll walk around the inside of the cabin and you can check it out. And we're gonna stay on the line. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I had to show everybody the boots we accumulated. That was the, that was the final piece of the puzzle. 
No boat goofing. They're out there questioning Will's little memoir that he just threw up there at you. So anyway, there's our new boot assortment. Fire is burning. I got me a cold burr. And I'm about to go sit outside and enjoy it. So far, we have killed like four big old spiders and then Cody let a mouse out that was living under the fr uh, stove. So there's a mouse out here somewhere running around now. But anyway, it's cold. It's like 31 degrees right now. And uh, we're under a frost warning or something like that. And they're talking about rain, but I don't see how it's gonna rain at 31. So it'd probably be a freezing rain. So I went ahead and lit the fireplace. I wanted to do it yesterday, but everything that was on the ground was too wet to get going. So I found some good dry stuff today and I got it nice and pretty looking in there. So we're gonna end this vlog here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Folks, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. And like I said, I'll film a I'll there we go. I'll film a video um of the cabin and whatnot tomorrow i guess and upload it tomorrow night this is today's vlog day two i'm looking at myself in the mirror instead of the camera it's messing me all up anyway thanks for watching folks drop a comment down below let me know what you think appreciate you guys tagging along with our little mini vacation and uh if you watch this thank you for watching you know you're not obligated to you can just stick to the car content but i'm gonna go out here and enjoy some time with my family and uh from me, Cody, my brother William, and Faith to you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and thank you guys for watching. Good night.